The topic this time is about service-oriented enterprise architecture. Now the context here is that one of the Gartner an analysts came up with the phrase the other day saying service-oriented architecture is dead, there's no references to it anywhere. Well as far as I'm concerned service-oriented architecture has barely got started. And I've also picked up from a comment from Peter Merchland who considers service-oriented enterprise architecture as a bridge, one of the few ways we have a bridge between business and technology. So I may be dead in IT alone, but it's certainly not dead in enterprise architecture. The crucial point here is the idea of the term service or the meaning of the word service. Once we think of it as being something that serves, then it leads us to the idea that everything either is or represents or implies the existence of a service. This gives us a quick intro into service-oriented approaches such as the one I, well, I developed called Enterprise Canvas which in which we say that there is a tension between what there is and what exists. A service exists to ease that tension, to lead us towards the desired ends. We then have the relationship between others who can help us reach towards our goals and the ways in which what we deliver can help others reach towards their goals. Each of these is a service. We serve each other, but also connecting to purpose. So we can map out the entirety of anything, any system, any context in terms of services because this service connects to that service, connects to that service, is implemented by that service, is connected by that service, data services, information services, people services, machine-based based services, plant services, eco ecology services, economic services, support services, value services, they are all services. Everything connects to everything else as services. A service is something that serves. So where does a product fit into this? Well, a product is effectively a frozen service. Whenever two services cannot connect directly together, then there must be something that bridges the gap. That's what a product does. A product is a gap, an asynchronous or, or um, dislocated service. We package up something like a tin of beans to produce a late, to be unfrozen, unconnected, reconnected into another service to become an asset or whatever for that service to become the service of delivering a meal. So the, ba the boundaries between services are where we say they are and the products connect between the boundaries. So whenever we look at a product, one of the things we can look at is what is it that would unfreeze that product into becoming part of another service? A product on its own is just a thing. It's only useful and relevant when it is used in some kind of service. So rather than the idea that service-oriented architecture is dead, it's actually the core of everything that we do. Everything is a service. Everything is, represents, or uses, or becomes a service. So service becomes the core idea that really simplifies an architecture because it works the same way everywhere, every context, every level. Services are actually the future, not the past.